this whole cleansing I'm talking about is not just to cleanse your mind, it's not just to cleanse your body, but to cleanse yourself, to balance yourself. The more complex thing is, for example, what are your intentions when you make decisions? So, do you act from the heart? Or maybe from some kind of selfish, ego-driven desires? Why this is important? Because you're going to be attracting more of who you are. Hey, this is Mike Sigula and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. So True Spirituality is my series where I talk about metaphysics, spirituality, consciousness, psychedelics, shamanism, meditation, esoteric teachings, a little bit of everything. So if you like these types of subjects, welcome. Please subscribe and check out previous episodes because we have like over 60 episodes already. So today I want to talk about spiritual cleansing. This is the term that I use and what it means, why you should give it a try and how it's going to benefit you. So please watch the whole thing because I think it might be very useful to you. So some people who want to improve themselves, who are interested in personal development or some kind of spiritual development might have a detox, for example. They feel like I need to improve my body. I need to clean my body. So they might have some kind of detox with maybe fasting, juicing, whatever, changing diet, things like that, right? Maybe doing some exercise. This is good, right? This might help those people to feel better. But your body is just one part of a complex system that affects everything in your life and how you feel. Other people might have challenges with cluttered mind, a lot of negative thoughts, stress, things like that. And they might decide to maybe learn some meditation and that's gonna improve how they feel. Maybe they're gonna be less stressed, etc. So this technique might help them to cleanse their minds, for example at least to some extent, right? So here you can work on your body. In the second example, you can cleanse your mind. But because of the fact that we live in a society that is very toxic and we are very complex, our lives are complex, these things might not be enough to really affect how you feel and even there are some things that can affect what type of situations you manifest and attract. And they are linked to spiritual cleansing. So I've been trying that for the last three years and it's a work in progress. You know, it's very hard to say that you are just completely pure, bliss, clean. Because if you live in modern society, every day you have some challenges, every day you have some situations that might get you out of balance, might disturb you. So it's work in progress. So the more you cleanse yourself and you are in balance, the better you feel, but also the better things you attract to your life. Because what we create in our lives, what we attract to us, situations, people, outcomes, is very much a reflection of what's going on with us, what's going on inside of us. So this is why this whole process is so important. And I really explain this whole thing in detail in my new master class, which you can watch for free. It's 50 minutes long. So if you go to truefury.com forward slash masterclass, you can register to watch this masterclass and you're gonna see a lot of examples how it affects people's lives so i think you should definitely check it out the link also probably is going to be below the video but now let's talk more about what is this spiritual cleansing i'm talking about so for example every action every habit positive or negative 
might start evolving into something more complex at some point. Let me give you an example of a negative habit. One guy I knew who just used to party quite a lot, quite often. At some point, he developed a toothache, which he could not fix. It would stay for years and it would come back on and off. And I asked this guy, okay, what happened when you developed the toothache? Anything particular happened that in that month or that year? And he said, yeah, that was the year that I partied like crazy. And before he was partying quite a lot, right? So what happens is that years of partying suddenly developed into this as a result and it stayed till now. Another guy, he, he runs a hotel, he's a manager in a hotel and he's also like a party guy and a lot of his friends come and drink with him when he's at work, whatever. So he started allowing his friends to drink when, when he's running the hotel. Some of his clients started drinking with the clients and some of these guys started like taking drugs. You know, he would take sometimes. So he allowed these things for long enough and at some point it developed into a situation where everyone thinks this is accepted, this is normal and it got out of control. Friends would come drink, take drugs, you know, that would disturb everyone. It would create a lot of trouble. And it was very difficult to re reverse that. Staff would start thinking this is completely accepted and normal. So now what he was doing for long enough developed into a new phase where it's very difficult to reverse what he's doing, right? So this is an example of how habits for example, negative, can evolve into more complex scenarios over time, right? Okay, so let's get into this whole cleansing thing. So you wanna be cleansed on every level possible. So for example, your mind, right? Meditation is a good thing. But also avoiding anything that gets you out of alignment, let's say. So for example, friends, who complain, who have low vibrations, aren't angry friends, friends who are toxic. You either confront them that you don't like this type of behavior or if they continue, then maybe time to move on, cut them out from your life or change friends, whatever, right? If you have people around you that affect your mood, your mental well-being, you gotta probably do something about it, right? But it could be also information, for example. So you watch some news and you feel really bad about the situation in the world, whatever, because news are very negative. So whatever is that affects your mood, you need to eliminate that. You need to get rid of it, right? And ideally change it for something that's gonna help. So maybe watching something very uplifting, positive, inspiring, funny, hanging out with people that are gonna benefit you, inspire you, etc. Obviously, all the basic stuff, so eliminating negative habits, eliminating addictions, junk food as much as possible, replacing it with healthy things, right? Instead of going, get wasted on the weekends, maybe do some hiking, go to a personal development group, whatever, right? But this is all simple stuff, right? This is obvious. The more complex thing is, for example, what are your intentions when you make decisions? So, do you act from the heart? Or maybe from some kind of selfish, ego-driven desires? Why this is important? Because you're gonna be attracting more of who you are. So, for example, a person who is very selfish very often will attract the same towards them, people who are gonna treat the person as this person behaves. And now the person's gonna blame the world, blame external, but actually this person manifested that because of the pattern they have. Sometimes people who are very kind attract selfish people as well because they don't respect themselves. That's the same thing, but the other round where they might put others first 
and don't value themselves and they also might attract selfish people, right? Another very important thing is to work on our shadow aspects. I like to call them imbalances. This is explained in detail in my master class. So examples of these shadow aspects could be things like being selfish, ego-centric behavior, hedonistic behavior, bad temper, jealousy, chronic complainer, striving for power. These are just examples, but obviously there are many more. So if you have some of these patterns, very often what you're gonna manifest or attract will reflect these patterns. So like I said, for example, someone who lacks self-love, person always says yes. You know, someone asks this person for a favor and they're gonna be like, hmm, you know, I shouldn't be doing it because I don't have time or I can't, but if I'm gonna say no, they're not gonna like me. So now this person is out of balance. It, it shows lack of self-love. And what starts happening, this person starts attracting more of people who start using this person and they don't value her kindness, for example. Someone who is a chronic complainer, for example, might attract a partner who gonna be an alcoholic or, or some other pathological characteristic, right? So this whole cleansing I'm talking about is not just to cleanse your mind, it's not just to cleanse your body, but to cleanse yourself, to balance yourself. Another example of being out of balance could be someone is in a loving relationship, but when the wife is not watching, this person flirts with other women or watches porn or something like that. They think that she won't find out, not gonna affect anything, but it actually affects a lot of things. Because like I said, our lives are reflections of who we are. So in order to start attracting better things, better people, better opportunities, better situations. First, we need to start working on ourselves. We need to become the version that's gonna attract these things. So, hope this is useful. And once again, if you really wanna explore this whole concept, check out my masterclass, go to truefury.com forward slash masterclass, and you're gonna learn more about it. You're gonna see a lot of examples actually some kind of case studies, how this process works for different people. So thanks for watching, until next time.